When you shop at a Walmart Vision Center, you get it. You know that you'll spend a little less on stylish glasses for the whole family. Welcome to the Vision Center. Let me know if you need help finding the perfect frame. Hey, Mom, you were right. These glasses are cool. Hon, they take our insurance. That means Papa's getting a new pair, too. Whoa, glasses start at just $39. Next stop, groceries. So you can get a little more of what you need. Find a Vision Center near you. Save money, live better. Walmart. Hi, Harry, how are you? Good, you? Never better, never better. Um, am I, we were, you were, um, you were on my hot dog eating team, right? Yes. Okay, yes, that was, I was. That was. <laughs> how many did you eat? I ate, I believe, 14 of them. Oh, oh, oh no. Did you feel that? Was it rough after? Did, I mean, that's a lot of food. Yeah, I didn't have hot dogs for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, you know, I just love what you're doing. And um, I, you know, the fact that you've taken something so uh, heart wrenching, uh, heart wrenching that's, that's changed the life of you and your family and um, put that in motion based on the inspiration of your lovely daughter uh, is, is just fantastic. And you're in the charity be a Ruby.org is gaining steam. Let's talk a little bit about that be a Ruby.org and how fantastic this has been for you. Yeah. Um, so about a year ago is when we, we really started getting going. We got uh, um, all the paperwork rolling and everything. Um, December was the first month that we did uh, um, our event we call Feeding Our Neighbors, which is we go downtown and we cook food and uh, bring clothing and supplies to the homeless. Um, our first one was down in a park I can't remember the name of it. And we, we had probably about 40 people at the first one. Um, I remember it was like 10 degrees out, super cold. Um, and we moved um, per request of some of the uh, people that we were helping down there to Division and Cherry by where some more of the um, shelters and stuff were. And from there, we're upwards now of serving 125 to 150 people a month. Okay. So this is blossom to um, get money from the public, buy food and clothing for the homeless money from the public food and clothing for the pom- uh, homeless wash, rinse, repeat, right? Yes. Uh, and there are some other events coming up too, that we're doing. We try around the holidays to pick some families in need to uh, bring them meals Um we got, we're going to do two families in November um, around Thanksgiving. And then another big event we're going to be doing too um, is we're going to give Christmas to a family at the DeVos Children's Hospital. Um, so we will be uh, picking a family right around Christmas time and just bringing them gifts. Uh, Ruby's heart was one where this is something that was right up her alley, right? You took the inspiration from her being the the sweet soul that she was when she was with us and kind of like transferred that to you to be able to do all this, correct? Yeah. So that's kind of where it came from was she was the kind of person that would find that kid that nobody's playing with and go be friends with them would, you know, everybody was her friend. And nobody was different in her eyes. And so the way that she lived and did that um, was very much an inspiration of going out and helping these people that we help. And that put this all into motion. You, you guys didn't have anything planned like this uh, prior, right? No. Um, when, I, when I started looking into things um, that I could do to a lot of it is to uh, – sidetracked my mind from things that, you know, I'm always, you know, thinking about and stuff and kind of putting that into motion into something good. And I have a passion for food and stuff. And she had a passion for the generosity and being kind to people. So when you put those together, you know, this was, this was a no brainer once we, we came up with the idea. In a short amount of time, a lot of people have kind of gravitated, uh, offered help when they could. I know that when you and I sat down, it was about three minutes. And I was like, well, this is something uh, this I'm so f- delighted that you've approached me about getting behind something like this. I'm guessing this has been happening a lot where people are like rushing to support you 
uh, either in um, in the in their actions or, or if, if they're donating something or time or talent, people are 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 coming out of the woodwork to help you guys. Yes. Um, once we started really rolling with this, um, I had no problem finding volunteers to come down and help serve. I had no problem finding volunteers to help find, you know, the clothing and donate clothing and that kind of thing. Um, and especially the monetary value that has come in has been far more than I ever expected. Um, we reached our goal of what my board put together as kind of like a budget that we wanted to you hit this year. We hit that in um, end of May. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, we, we definitely uh, six far, I had surpassed what we thought we were going to be at. When you shop at a Walmart Vision Center, you get it. You know that you'll spend a little less on stylish glasses for the whole family. Welcome to the Vision Center. Let me know if you need help finding the perfect frame. Hey, Mom, you were right. These glasses are cool. Hun, they take our insurance. That means Papa's getting a new pair, too. Whoa, glasses start at just $39. Next stop, groceries. So you can get a little more of what you need. Find a Vision Center near you. Save money, live better. Walmart. Um, yeah. And, and that's, and, uh, uh, rather quickly too, to be able to get that done. And I see the, uh, the pictures of you, of your family there and there's a uh, sweet Ruby right there. Yep. And, and, uh, that's been the inspiration to, to build this. So what you've, uh, and what we're doing is encouraging people to go to be a Ruby.org, which uh, all this will be in the uh, notes of okay. this, uh, of this podcast, this video, uh, live stream, whatever, and, uh, and check this out and be able to see what's up. Like if you click on our supporters, you've got um, a number of people that um, who've been helping you guys uh, when it comes to supporting you, there's a ways you can do that by uh, people can volunteer, offer support, um, fundraising and, uh, and on and on and on. This is just taken off for you guys and you've done an amazing job with it. Really? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. We, uh, last month, Actually, it was this month. It was last week, and actually, we um, distributed over 150 items of clothing. Um, on top of that, we also have um, anywhere from toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, uh, shampoo, um, all that kind of stuff that we always have on our trailer that we we put out for them. So, um, being that we're growing that fast, um, getting clothes and the supplies right now is our big. Our, our big task at hand. Okay. And that that's the perfect time to mention that um, the clothing drive that you have here on October 29th, that's uh, that's, that's a big one coming up, right? Yes. That's we're hoping, like I said, we went through over 150 pieces of clothing and my trailer is kind of empty, um, especially on some of the bigger stuff that we need, including the jeans, uh, hoodies, uh, coats, socks, that kind of thing. I'm running really low. So I'm hoping that, um, we've kind of done clothing drives, um, along with a couple of things and now making this clothing drive, the main focus, I'm hoping to, uh, get a couple months worth of clothing on this drive. So are we talking gently used? Are we talking not used at all? What, what, what is the exact specifications that you need? So we will take any gently used and stuff. Um, we would like uh, washed, um, especially if you have animals with all the dog hairs and stuff like that. Yeah, so if it's yeah. washed before it's brought in. Okay. Um, but our big concerns right now are jeans, hoodies, t-shirts, um, and then uh, socks and underwear. Um, okay. And that is our big stuff we're running out of right now. Okay. So that is coming up uh, in, the, in the West Michigan area, Saturday, October 29th. All the information is at bearuby.org. And then, of course, when it comes to serving food, um, are you, you know, feeding our neighbors? You got the November 12th one. That's at the corner of Division and Cherry in Grand Rapids. Um, what, what, what do you want for that? Do you want, do you want money? Do you want volunteers? What are you, what are you looking for, Harry? Um, yeah, both would be um, helpful. Uh, we average about 15 volunteers, um, and we do a pretty good job with that. And we're getting to the colder uh, months. So we might work on being able to rotate some people in and out. So not the whole time. 
Okay. Um, so the more we get, the easier we can make it for our volunteers. Do you um, want them to contact you through the website? And, uh, and yeah, that would be awesome. If uh, our email is on there, it's hrisley at bearuby.org. Um, okay. Just say, hey, I'm, I'm willing to volunteer uh, this month. Uh, and then just shoot me an email. Um, we also post it on our Facebook page. We have a bearuby.org Facebook page. And we post our events probably the week of. And a lot of times people will just say, hey, I'm coming out, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, just giving us a heads up. So you've got the Saturday, November 12th, and then Saturday, December 10th, and then Saturday, January 14th. Is there any that I'm missing there, or is that the three big ones? No, and then we will. We normally do the second Saturday of every month. Okay, second Saturday of every month. And, okay, so with that, you're seeing um, – it's a great opportunity for um, – like if you have a young a child who you want to maybe impress upon them the yes the, the generous nature of this uh that's that's a great bonding experience with your kids and my gosh you're looking at what maybe an hour and a half of time on a saturday yeah um normally we're setting up between 10:30 and 10:45 and last month i was on the road heading home by uh 12:15 so you've just got the grill and uh and and the food that you haul over there so yep. you're going to need help with setting up, things like that. Yeah, we have a pretty good process going. So it's kind of easy. It's like, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? Um, and the volunteers, they're very, very helpful at getting all that going. We set up in 10 minutes to have everything going. So it's really nice. Awesome. And I know that at uh, BeARuby.org, there are ways you can donate. Uh, Venmo, PayPal, donate here button. It's all there. And this is, a, of course, a 501c3 charity, um, as you you know maybe consider for uh, future giving or monthly giving or end of year giving, whatever it may be. Um, I, I love how it, um, how it came out of a place of uh, sadness and grief, but yet, I mean, I don't say I love that, but how it came from there to what it is now is absolutely outstanding and amazing. I just love the story. Thank you. Um, okay. Well, let's stay in touch and do this again and talk about the next one coming up. And I'd love to see you at one of these, um, on any one of these given Saturdays. So you can count on me being there and whoever else we can get. Okay. Harry. Sounds good. Okay. Um, what time do we start on Saturdays too? Um, I'm normally there between 10 30 and 10 45. Awesome. Okay. Well, Harry, I appreciate you give, uh, give my best to the family and I hope that, uh, ruby.org continues to grow. Thank you so much for the time, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. When you shop at a Walmart Vision Center, you get it. You know that you'll spend a little less on stylish glasses for the whole family. Welcome to the Vision Center. Let me know if you need help finding the perfect frame. Hey, Mom, you were right. These glasses are cool. Hun, they take our insurance. That means Papa's getting a new pair, too. Whoa, glasses start at just $39. Next stop, groceries so you can get a little more of what you need. Find a vision center near you. Save money, live better. Walmart, 